Welcome to the instructional video on how to download data from Fitbir using the Java Web Start download tool. This video will cover the download tool process including how to download data from the data repository, how to download data from the query tool, how to access and use the download tool, and contact information for additional help. The download tool is an application used in order to download the desired data from Fitbir to a user's computer. The download tool can be found within the data repository along with other tools such as the submission tool and the MIPAP imaging tool. Users have the ability to download clinical assessment data, genomic data, and imaging data from either the data repository or the query tool. As a reminder, users must first have access to the study of interest. Either the study data has been shared with the Fitbit community, or the user has been specifically given privileges to that study. For the first example, downloading from the data repository will be reviewed. Data from shared studies can be downloaded from the data repository by clicking on the desired study title from the data repository table, then choosing the data sets of interest from the submitted data set section of the study profile page. As a note, when downloading from the repository, users will download the data set exactly as it was uploaded by the study team. This would mean that data for specific assessments may be separated across multiple submissions or data sets. From the workspace, navigate to the data repository module. All the studies that are currently in the data repository will appear in the table. By using the second drop-down menu above the table, select the option for studies with shared data to see all the studies that have data ready to be downloaded. From here, search for the study of interest and select the title. When looking at the study profile, scroll down to the dataset submissions. From the dataset submissions table, select the dataset of interest, then press add to download queue. Multiple datasets can be added to the download queue. Users will be notified by email when the download package is ready to be downloaded. In the next example, downloading from the query tool will be reviewed. In the query tool, users have the ability to view data based on studies, assessments, and data elements. Users have the ability to join forms across studies and filter data on specific search parameters based on the needs of the user. The user has the ability to download their query in either the form of a CSV or a flattened CSV. As a note, the difference between a CSV and a flattened CSV is that the repeatable groups appear as separate COM headers in the flattened CSV while the repeatable groups remain within the data rows of the normal CSV. From the workspace, navigate to the Query Tool module. In the Query Tool, use the left section to choose how to filter the data, either by studies, forms, or data elements. Saved queries can also be found in this section. In this example, data will be selected based on the forms used in the study. By pressing the plus sign on the study box, the list of forms that have data for the study will appear. Select the shopping cart on the form box in order to select the form for querying. Users also have the ability to click the shopping cart on the study box to select all the forms in the study. Once the forms of interest have been selected, press the data cart button in order to refine the search within the selected forms. From this part of the query tool, users have the ability to join forms based on GUIDs. Users also have the ability to add filters on any data element as well as set Boolean functions between filters. The results from the join and filters will appear in the data table on the right side. To download the query results, press the download options button on the top right and select download to queue. From here, the query can be given a name and then can be downloaded as a regular CSV or a flattened CSV. After giving the query a name, a new window will appear to state that the download is being prepared. As a note, users have the ability to download all the forms from the data cart without any joining or filters when pressing the download data cart to queue button on the top left. As a reminder, the user will receive an email once the download package is ready. Once all the files of interest have been added to the download queue from either the data repository and or the query tool, the next step is to launch the download tool. The download tool can be found in the data repository module.
From the workspace, navigate to the data repository. When in the data repository, click on the left menu icon to open the drop down menu. Click the download tool button within the drop down menu. The WebStart download tool will be used for this example. After clicking the WebStart download tool button, the download tool page will open. This page has documentation on the download tool, steps on how to use the tool, and the button to launch the download tool. After pressing the Launch Download Tool button, the JNLP file will save to the computer. Run the JNLP file. After launching the JNLP file, a EULA Data Privacy Agreement window will appear. After accepting the agreement, the download tool will open. The download tool consists of three main sections. The first section is the Save To section, which allows the user to choose where to save the download package on the local computer. The second section is the Download Package section, which shows the download packages that are ready for download. The Download Package section provides information to the user, such as name, date added, number of files in the package, size of the package, download progress, status of the package, and where the package is coming from, either the data repository or the query tool. In the Download Package section, the user has the ability to select and deselect download packages based on their needs. The third section is the Package Contents section, which shows what files are in the download package that is selected in the above download package section. Users have the ability to select specific files within the package, as well as filter the package by file types and by text. Once all the selections have been made, press the Start Download button to start downloading the files. The status on the download package will change to In Progress while the contents are being downloaded. Users can see the exact download percentage of the contents in the Package Content section. Once all the downloads have been completed, a window will appear to notify the user. The user has the ability to clear the download packages from the download queue once they have completed the download by pressing the Remove Package button. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the WebStart Download Tool. Please feel free to contact Fibber Operations for any additional questions.